Right, we're going to try and sketch the graph of uh, cos squared x and we are going to exploit our knowledge of the relationship between cos 2x and cos squared x. Right, uh, the sketching of uh, cos squared x starting from cos x and then, dub, and then squaring the y values, that's a much more difficult uh, procedure and I think that the best to do that is to exploit what we know about cos 2x and then cos squared x and as you progress down the line, cos squared x minus sin squared x, as you, pro, as you move down the line, this is ex, exploiting that we, that sin squared x is 1 minus cos squared x and that will then give you um, 2 cos squared x minus 1 and then when you transpose you have that a half plus a half cos 2x is equal to a cos squared x. Now we shall try and sketch the graph of a half plus a half cos 2x instead of um, sketching the graph of cos x and then doubling the, and then squaring the y values. I hope that makes sense. Right, the graph of um, uh, a half plus a half cos 2x and hopefully um, what we know that should be the same as the graph of cos squared x. Now starting from the default graph of cos x, now note here that the period is 1, hence cos 1x. Okay. Okay, we shall try and sketch the graph of cos 2x and uh, you find that uh, cos x, or if you like cos 1x, will go from 0 to uh, 2 pi in one cycle whereas for cos 2x you go from 0 to pi and then from pi to 2x so you do that in two cycles hence 2 so the period is 2 okay now having done the graph of cos 2x which, which has got a period of 2 we shall now sketch the graph of cos, sorry, the graph of a half cos 2x. Now notice that the the period will still be the same. The period is 2 for both cos 2x and a half cos 2x. The only difference is that the amplitude for a half cos 2x is a half, whereas the amplitude for cos 2x is 1. Okay, so and so we've not shown here the amplitude which is a half cos 2x the period is still the same right now we've done the graph of a half cos 2x we now need to do a graph of a half plus a half cos 2x and that, that suggests a vertical shift of half a unit so if we move the blue graph by half a unit that will give us the red uh, sketch. So the red graph is a, is a uh, sketch for a half plus a half cos 2x or cos squared x. I hope that helps. Now for some exercise here for you to try. Can you try and sketch the graph of sine squared x and what do you notice there? Can you try and compare the graph of cos squared x and the graph of sine squared x. I hope that helps.